Good evening, everybody. Now, uh, what is happening? Hopefully, you all are having a wonderful day today. So, I thought that I would review this little video. This video is going to be by this one boxing channel named Champside. Champside also is another, <laughs> even though he doesn't come out and say it, he would be another of what would be called uh, another member of the LDBC, which means what? It means that he is a pro black boxing channel. Now, he's not as out there as some of the other LDBC or pro-black channels. But I might actually have to agree with a certain amount of what he says in this video, because today we're going to be talking about the Vasil Lomachenko loss and the excuses that Lomachenko has recently made with his recent loss to Tiafimo Lopez. So let's see what Champside overall has to say. I'm going to tune in a little bit here and there. And overall, I did not give a fight review on it, so I'm going to give you guys my take on the fight. Vasily Lomachenko claims that Top Rank and Bob Arum bribed the judges in the Tiafima Lopez fight and demands a revenge fight. He said, I didn't lose the fight. I watched it around five times. I took the second round. He took the first, third, fourth, and fifth. The sixth remains questionable. However, his win reflects bias against myself. If we count. What I say is this. Um. I think Tiafimo Lopez won the fight, but when it comes down to it, those scorecards were, <laughs> those scorecards were not the best. I thought you could have scored the fight maybe seven rounds to five. If you had an eight rounds to four, no problem. Uh, but that nine rounds to three scorecard, I don't know what the hell that dude was looking at. <laughs> anyway, but Lomachenko, it was very obvious that he was afraid of Tiafimo Lopez's power and size. And Lomachenko is a great fighter. Uh, but overall, he is just a little bit too small to be a 135, and also not great enough to be a 135. A certain amount of people might say it's just because of his size. If Lomachenko was as great as we all thought he was, he would have won that fight against Tiafimo Lopez, and who knows, maybe he would win in a rematch. But he didn't win the fight, and that's the bottom line. On his score strictly by the book. The scorecard would be different. I took one round from the first half of the five, from the first half of the fight, and five rounds from the second half. From round seven to round 11, we've got six each, which is a draw. And if we use the unspoken rule of boxing, we look for rounds 10 to 12, the championship rounds. I won two of them. It's two to one, even if I won three rounds in the first half. You know, I keep, I, I see a certain amount of people overall saying that Tiafimo Lopez clearly won the 12th round. It, it really wasn't that clear. The, the 12th round was a close round, but what won Tiafimo Lopez that round is that he ended up hurting Lomachenko, I believe, in like the final 20 seconds. So that's what happened. Uh, in my opinion, Lomachenko was actually winning the 12th round until Tiafimo Lopez hurt him. But he ended up hurting him, so that ends up giving him the round. For the fight, I wouldn't win the fight for the scorecards. What does it say? It's not about bias. It's about being bribed. There was nothing about. There was nothing about honest judging. I don't know whose game it was. I do think it was somebody's game. So, what Vasily Lomachenko is hinting at is that Bob Aaron bribed these judges for Tiafima Lopez. He says, "I want this revenge." I think it will figure everything out. Either it will be the end of my career or I'll take all the belts. I think there should be a revenge. The question is, if he agrees to the revenge, I think he won't. They are afraid because they know I had an injury and I won't be. And that's just a bunch of bullshit, bro. Like, come on. <laughs> all these bullshit excuses that I've heard from boxers about an injury. Come on, man. You know, no, no one wants to hear that shit. No one heard about an injury excuse uh, before the fight. We better not hear of one after it. All right, that's just the bottom line. No, no one no one wants to hear that stupid shit, bro. Just like nobody overall wants to hear Deontay Wilder's dumbass excuses of, oh, yeah, I was spiked, and I was like, whatever. <laughs> just like no one wanted to hear Manny Pacquiao's excuse, uh, you know, after the Floyd Mayer with a match. Once again, man, this is an objective and logical channel. Uh, this is not... Uh, you know, a fan channel. This is not a pro-racial channel. Anything like that. So, once again, I give everybody the same energy. The same without an injury. 
on the revenge. They know that he can't fight with me. He reached the top. He got lucky. He would better hold the title as long as possible. He doesn't want to fight with me because he will lose the belts. They do understand it. They won't do this. They will trash talk. They will place conditions. And finally, they won't fight. Well, here's what I think. Lomachenko had his opportunity to fight Teofimo Lopez. And in that moment, he didn't do enough, you know. Uh, it, people don't want to talk about bribery and rigging and scripting. Of, uh, In my opinion, Lomachenko didn't do enough either. In the first half of the fight, he completely stared at him. <laughs> so Lomachenko really has no one else to blame but himself. It is what it is. And it was a risk going in there against someone like a T. Fima Lopez, someone who has that type of one-shot knockout power. But you got to take risks. All right? T. Fima was going to the body early. He was backing him in the corner. He was able to outthrow him. Lomachenko obviously was very afraid of the size and the power, or he was very tentative to throw because of the size and the power that Tiafimo Lopez brought to the table. But, hey, that loses you fights. Boxing events or any events, sporting events, but I'll just say this. Lomachenko, if anybody was bribed, bruh, it was you. Considering that you didn't throw a damn punch. And he didn't start fighting until the ninth round, which made me think. Well, that's not really true. But once again, this dude's putting a little extra on it. And we all know why that is. Because Champ side, even though he's not as out there with it, uh, he is a pro black. <laughs> but it is what it is. Uh, and he's going to mention something a little bit later on uh, to where there's a reason why I reviewed this video. But anyway. Why are you taking so many rounds off knowing you go going to make this way closer than it needs to be. I mean, this dude didn't even throw or land three or four punches until the ninth round. So the Well, that's not true. Lomachenko started fighting, I believe, until the seventh round. But once again, we all know why you're over-exaggerating it. <laughs> anyway. To say that uh, they needed to bribe the judges is BS. Everybody in the world could see. In the second round... They gave you the second round. They showed you winning in the replay, but really, in all actuality, Tiafimo smacked you with a hard right hand in that round that sent you across the ropes. I mean, across the ring. So you really didn't even win the second round. That's just people running with regurgitate everything everyone else said. You might have won two rounds in that fight. And well, you won more than two rounds, but once again, we all know why you're over exaggerating a little bit. <laughs> it, it is what it is. Anyway. In my opinion, like I said, they didn't need to bribe the judges. You didn't do nothing in the first seven to eight rounds, which made me look at you. I agree. Lomachenko didn't do really shit uh, in the first six rounds. Uh, at least I'll, I'll say that. Lomachenko needed to do a hell of a lot more in the first half of the fight. He just didn't. So instead of making these bullshit excuses, Lomachenko needs to go back to the drawing board. And overall, maybe get a rematch with Tiafima Lopez. If you can't get a rematch with Tiafima Lopez, fight some of the top contenders and see if you can get a rematch with Tiafima Lopez. But anyway. It's kind of strange. So don't look at nobody else and say they playing in the game. Matrix. If anything, we looking at you. Wondering why you didn't do nothing until round nine. So it's just funny to me that Deontay Wilder came out and, and said some things. He never claimed nobody was bribed. He just said, you know, boxing is dirty. You know, we could see. Now, let me rewind that because that's a big part of the reason why I was, <laughs> why I uh, did the video. Because, this, you know, Lomachenko, when he lost, these people have been getting after him. When I say these people, I mean the LDBC, New Media, and Pro Blacks. You know, so it is was before anyone gets offended. Uh, but when it comes down to the overall bottom line is this. But when it comes to Lomachenko, he has no problem getting after him. See, on my channel, I have no problem getting after anybody who makes excuses. I remember when Guillermo Rigano made an excuse when he lost to Lomachenko. I remember when Manny Pacquiao made an excuse, not only when he lost to Mayweather, but when he lost to Morales, I believe. Uh, you know, I remember... Let's see, who else do I remember? Um, Lomachenko is making excuses against Tifima Lopez now. Uh, also, Deontay Wilder against Tyson Fury. So we have to get after all those fighters. But it is what it is funny to me that Deontay Wilder came out and, and said some things. He never claimed nobody was bribed. He just said, you know, boxing is dirty. You know, we can uh, No, that's... <laughs> he, he said a little bit more than that, uh, Champside. He said a little bit more than that, and you know that. 
he came out with probably the most stupid excuse uh, out of any boxing champion that I've ever heard in history that a 40-pound vest or costume wore his legs down. All right. That's the excuse Deontay Wilder came out with. And a certain amount of people are saying that it was declined. Well, if it was declined, it took him months and months upon end to decline it. I believe Deontay Wilder truly said it. That's what I believe. But <laughs> it is what it is. Because why would it take you several months upon end for you to decline that? It was on ESP. It was on live air. The, the Literally like the day after the fight or on, or on a Monday, I believe. So maybe two days after the fight. And Deontay hadn't declined it for months? <laughs> I believe he did say that. Not only that, but Deontay Wilder brought up that he was cheated by Tyson Fury because of the gloves and all this sort of shit. Like, come on, man. But Deontay Wilder didn't just come out and say that boxing was dirty. Come on. Anyway. You see the gloves flopping, all this other stuff. But well, look at Loma. Claiming he cheated, claiming the, the judge was... Let's be real. Lomachenko, Lomachenko is making some bullshit excuses right now. But it's nowhere near, <laughs> it's nowhere near the same level as a Deontay Wilder fan base delusion. Let's stop. So let's stop this race baiting overall. Oh, Deontay Wilder's just getting picked upon because he's black. And listen, there are certain examples of that, you know, with other athletes. But when it comes down to the overall, this this is not one of those situations. Wilder looks like, <laughs> Wilder looks like a fucking idiot because of all the excuses he's been making and his fan base has been making over the past nine months. Anyway, man. Bribe claiming that Tio can't beat him and all this other stuff. I bet you. Let's also not forget that Wilder and his fan base is accusing the Nevada State Athletic Commission and the WBC on being in on cheating. Anyway, and that Wilder also accused his trainer of being spiked, uh, or excuse me, that he was spiked by his trainer. And overall, that Tyson Fury had an egg weight. Like, come on, man. Don't don't just sit here and act like <laughs> the accusations are similar. Anyway. You don't get nowhere near the same flag. Nowhere near the same flag. So I'm going to just watch this again. I do. I, I know for a fact that that um, that uh, these judges are being compromised. I know that for a fact. Y'all could debate about it if you want, you know, because. And boxing overall is probably the most dirty sport overall, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Again, like I always said, man, if you don't know. The origins of Vegas, who started it and who's running it and who's got their hands on boxing, then you ain't been paying attention. This shit older than you. But for uh, in this instance, I look at Loma funny. You know, bro, why you didn't do nothing for a whole eight rounds? Forget talking about you taking your time, you trying to take him to deep water. Bruh, Tio Fimo wasn't even breathing hard in that fight. He didn't even break a sweat to the ninth round. So you wasn't putting no well, pressure. You wasn't Well, that's not really true. But once again, we all know why you're over-exaggerating. Bottom line is this. Lomachenko should have threw more in the first half of the fight. It was because of T. Fimo Lopez's power and his size. It was giving Lomachenko problems. And he was not comfortable until he probably felt that T. Fimo Lopez lost a step maybe in the fight later on. Maybe by getting a little bit more tired. Or maybe he just finally knew that he had to throw something. When it comes down to the overall, uh, that's when Lomachenko stepped on the gas. You got to step on the gas early on in the fight, dude. <laughs> it, it is what it is. All right, you basically gave away the first half of the fight. So I don't want to hear no bitching from you. And causing no fatigue, and he wasn't getting tired. So why was you really taking rounds off like this? You know, why you didn't really fight till the ninth round? So I'll leave it at that. It's the baddest brand in the land. Let me know in the comment section what you think. For the best media content, hit the like, hit the subscribe. You're now locked in to the champ side. Anyways, that's really about it. Just thought that I would talk on that. We'll see where Vasil Lomachenko goes. Hopefully he does not end up like a Deontay Wilder. <laughs> where he goes down this super huge rabbit hole. Though it already looks like he's going down that path. So hopefully Lomachenko sucks his pride up when it comes down to the overall. And hopefully he becomes a better man and a better fighter by admitting that he just lost. But we'll see overall what happens. And hopefully Deontay Wilder does the same. But I don't see it happening because a lot of these fighters are so prideful when it comes down to it that, you know, they just, <laughs> they don't admit until years upon years later that they actually just lost. And even then, some don't admit that they lost. But it is what it is. We'll see what happens with Mr. Vasil Lomachenko. Should be very interesting. But that's all I got for now. Thank you all so much for watching.